Hey Capricorn, this is Moon Pie doing your February 2020 love reading. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So if you would like to listen to the reading, give it a little bit of time to see if it resonates for you. Um, it may, it may not. And uh, obviously, you can also check out my daily live streams where you can get a personal reading from me there for only $20. Um, I also upload the weeklies. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoy this video. I would greatly appreciate that. All right. So um, let's see what the energy. I'm going to do the Celtic cross, see what the energy is playing out for you, Capricorn, for February 2020. Energy for February 2020. All right, Queen of Wands is here. This is definitely you picking up this energy or you're dealing with a fire sign. Um, but this mostly feels to me like you are in like, you know, this super confident place in your life right now. Um, I don't know where Capricorn lies in your chart. You could be a sun, moon, um, Venus could be arising, but I'm seeing you in February, especially with this cat here, just being very intuitive. You know, you're just kind of like sitting in all your glory. You're glowing. Um, the queen of wands is very passionate, very fiery. She's quite popular. She gets a lot of attention. Um, she's well respected. Okay. So this is definitely Leo. Sagittarius or Aries energy, but you're exuding that in February. Definitely like empowered, confident. Um, you really don't, I don't see you really giving a hoot what anybody thinks, says, or does. Um, you're trusting your cat. Some of you have a little black kitty, <laughs> but you're just like really being in like a really good positive place going in look at this you've got the ten of cups crossing your the position of you so there might be um an offer of marriage or this might that can be a benefit for you but it also sits in a challenge position and it, this could have something to do with a family some of you might just really be like you know you're the head of household or you're trying to be, you're trying to take care of your family, your children, um, a marriage situation. You just, I feel like you're sitting here. Some of you are trying to get married or trying to bring stability to a relationship of some sort, but I just really feel like you're all about family or trying to be all about family relationships, commitment, marriage, um, this is just your energy. Maybe you've been in work mode and you really haven't been paying attention to that. But here in February, this is joyousness or at least, you know, the benefit for for some of you, the message is to really pay attention to your family. Make sure your your children or your, your other siblings, your parents, make sure everybody's okay. Take the lead also in a family situation. You might need to take the lead for something going on in February. Driving your reading is the Ace of Cups. There's a lot of love happening here. A lot of, you know, cup energy, emotional contentment and happiness and joy. I feel like, you know, you're being given a gift is being handed to you. Something that will make you feel very blessed, very happy. And it's definitely connected to a marriage situation, commitment, happiness, and family. I'm seeing a lot of yellow here. So very positive energy. Your past position is the fool. You may have been connected to an Aquarius, but it seems as if this person Somebody is not taking a risk or somebody walked away from having it all. Didn't we almost 
have it all. Somebody just maybe said no in the past or just left or went on their own adventure, did their own thing. Because, you know, when I look at these cards here, there's you and you're looking at the Ten of Cups and this person maybe just walked away. Didn't want that. You're still focused on this. You're still focused on a family thing. Marriage, commitment, what you want. You're, it's almost as if I don't care if you, you have walked away in the past. Because I'm still going after what I want. If it's not what you want, that's fine. We just don't see. We just haven't. We're not on the same page. Is what I see here, at least. And they decided maybe to walk in the past. So the Wheel of Fortune is crowning the reading. So, yep, things are shifting. And love is definitely coming in for you um, or being present. This is a, you know, like you're, you're being given some grace is how I feel. And uh, it's a very fortunate time. Everything is in your favor. Whoever you were dealing with in the past who walked away, it's basically like, well, their loss. <clears throat> they didn't want it. Their loss. Let me clarify the fool. Yep, they just wanted to be friends. They just wanted a friendship. Either friends with benefits or friendship. You wanted more. You're looking towards that now in February. This is what you're interested in. And you're letting that friendship or that, maybe it's a friends with benefits or whatever it was, you're letting that connection go. You're trusting your heart. You're trusting your instincts. You're trusting your intuition. Things are shifting for you and you're going in that direction because you're trusting. Because you're following the path of, you know, like your own, your own path, which is very typical. Two cards fell out. The Page of Pentacles and the Death card. So we have fixed energy here. So we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, um, Pisces, Cancer. If that resonates for you, then let it. If not, it, don't pay attention to it. What I feel like is happening here is there's a shift happening. And you may be receiving some communication for some of you from an earth sign. But you may be receiving some communication um, someone new coming in, an offer coming in. The Page of Pentacles, I feel like this is someone who sees your worth, sees your value, could be a Scorpio, um, sees your value, messages you, communicates with you, because you're in that. You know, the Queen of, the Queen of Wands sits in a place of high value. She does not you know, um, just flutter around at the bottom of the swamp. <laughs> she gets out of the swamp and, you know, swims in an Icelandic pool, you know, where it's pure and, and fresh and nourishing. You know, she doesn't stay in the muddy water. <laughs> and so raising that vibration, raising your worth is something you're doing in February. And I don't necessarily feel like it, you're doing it because... I feel like you were kind of pressed to do it. Like, you know, if this person in the past walked away or didn't want anything more, well, what could you do about it? What could you really do? You you had to just keep moving forward and going after that pot of gold. That's what you wanted. And so in order to do that, you needed to realign yourself in a place of value. And somebody sees this and a message comes through. There's a major shift. Whatever was dead before is, you know, in your love life is just shifting, is, 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 is over with because you're keeping your eye on the prize. She's keeping her eye on the prize. And so there's some kind of communication and it might be from somebody young or somebody who's got really nice muscles <laughs> or they could just look young, you know, be youthful looking. What's your advice here? 
Capricorn. What is your advice? Mm. <laughs> you have the Ace of Wands. Seek growth. <clears throat> Seek growth. Go out and have fun with, the, you know, this very passionate card, very lusty. So am I telling you to go out and, you know, have a good time with this person? No, because you want to jump back into this again. Um, or maybe you do. And this person just didn't want to go down that road with you anymore. But you, some of you are still looking for this passion, right? And you want to have that because for you, it's not all business. I mean, most of the time it is, but in February, it's really not. February, it's more like, you know, yeah, business, fine. Opportunity for like a new business start or something also brings passion and romance and love. That's why the Ace of Cups is driving this reading. This is what's happening here. You're being handed not just the Ace of Wands, the passion, but also the love. And with the, whoever you were with in the past, it, maybe it was just the passion and nothing more. Let's take a look at um, what's external to you and your environment and maybe the person that you're connecting with. Mm, yeah, end of a struggle for them. Oh, they're still struggling, but they're coming to the end of it. So if this was someone that you were with in, in the past, they probably had a lot going on that they just couldn't give anything else to you. And perhaps that wasn't enough for you, right? Um, but it's also your environment and what's been surrounding you, your love environment. What I feel like is happening here is like you're at the end of the, you're at the end of this. You're coming into something beautiful. Struggle is over. Struggle is over trying to hold on to something that wasn't serving you. That's done. Holding on to a relationship that was not bringing you happiness or peace. That's over. It's coming to an end in February. And it's all because of you keeping your eye on the prize, not settling. Hopes and fears. <laughs> You want victory. You're looking for this. This is what you want. You want to ride on your big white pony. Gain all that applause that you feel you deserve and the recognition for all you've done and all you've put out. What you've given. You took a chance. You took a risk with someone back then. And it didn't It didn't pan out with this person. And that's all right. You're, you're just like, it's okay. I've healed. I trust my gut. I trust my intuition. I'm ready for a shift. I'm ready for a change. Love is coming to me here. The struggle is over. There is definitely going to be some type of communication. And if, you know, for people who are looking for someone new, or if you've been dealing with this person, Scorpio energy, starting a business, something, um, somebody seeing your worth, you fear you're not going to, you know, be successful, but don't let your fears drive you. What's your outcome? Capricorn, you're in star mode. You are in star mode. Look at you. Superstar Capricorn. Replenishing your soul, making wishes come true. Right? The star is here right now as you're looking at this. Make that wish before going into February. Make that wish for what it is that you want. Your wishes will come true. It's just a matter of patience. It's just a matter of taking a step back. You, you put that energy out there. Allow it to just flow back to you. Whatever you've put out, allow it to flow back to you. For some of you, this could be this Aquarius or this person who left you and um, couldn't commit. They might be having a hard time letting you go. May not seem like it because maybe they took off, ghosted you, or just walked away and went after their own thing. But it feels to me like for some of you, it's a struggle for them to let you go. It's a burden that they must carry. They, they realize they made a mistake, but you, you know what? You didn't settle. You just, like I said, you kept your eye on the prize. You did what you, you had to do for yourself. You basically just thought, well, you know, what can I do? I can't make you love me. I can't make you stay. And this is not what you wanted. So I can't, um, you know, 
I can't push you to love me. I can't push you to do any of this, but I'm still not, I'm still, I'll shift it. If you're not the one, you weren't the one. And this, and I feel like for those of you who have this person from your past, who you might be questioning, if you want to know, yeah, it is a struggle for them to let you go. You don't want to. And, and it's, it, you're kind of like, well, then what the heck? If you didn't want to let me go, then why did you? Why did you walk away? You know, maybe they weren't intending to fully let you go, but maybe they told you in the past, you know, I can't do this right now. Let's just be friends. And, you know, let's just um, find a way to meet in the middle. But I can't give you anything else. And, and then you just said, okay. And went after your heart's, your heart wish. If you're wishing, if you're making a wish for this person to come to their senses, Capricorn, it will be a while. You'll be waiting. Even if they can't let you go, even if they're struggling to give up fully, you'll still be waiting a bit for them to come forward. But there is something new happening here on the horizon. February 13th, something may occur. Something may occur for you. You may get an offer for a date. You may receive a a gift in the mail, um, like a, maybe you'll get, you'll get flowers for Valentine's day or, you know, something along those lines. The bottom of the deck is the four of wands. So you're coming into this. I, I do feel strongly you're coming into this energy. There's, there's nothing here that's telling me you're not. And it's, and it's not because of me and what I'm saying. It's because of you taking on this Queen of Wands energy, being confident, staying focused on what you want, not settling for less than the Ten of Cups and the Four of Wands. So January feels very positive for you. And you know what? For some of you, I have to say this. For those, well, for those of you who had a thing with an Aquarius or were dealing with an Aquarius, like I was saying, the star is the Aquarius card, there will be um, a waiting period for them to actually return. Uh, very stubborn, this Aquarius, very stubborn. Can't let you go, but doesn't want to commit. But those wishes and that faith and that hope you have, just just keep at it. I feel like it, the King of Swords just popped out. Um, I feel like it is going to come for you. It, it's just going to be a matter of time and, and being patient. Okay, so I'm going to leave your reading there for you. And I hope that you enjoyed that. Check out the dailies and the weeklies and the weekend love readings. You can get in there and get a reading from me if you like. And um, I wish you all a very happy February. Capricorn, I will see you soon. All right, take care.